Alright, hello everyone and welcome to another cast of Smurf Cup edition number 354. Of course, we're talking about Canyon. Wait, wrong scene. There we go. <laughs> Such a professional. Alright, so this is the Canyon Smurf Cup and just right back, quick checking a few settings. There we go. So, Smurf Cup Canyon number 354. So last week we saw Cloud, this guy right here, won by after a very tough battle with Surom from Demise and one of his former one of his teammates called Mebe. So yeah, sorry for the rather shaky. He started the stream. We'll get that sorted out. So for those of you who are not in the, and wonder what this Smurf Cup is, well, here's a little rundown. So the cup is in rounds mode, played over the course of seven maps. We uh, the player wins the map once uh, some. So the map win, as you can see, is when the player reaches 180 points or more in terms of score. All the points that from the all players are tallied up for the final rankings, and the player with the most points wins. There are 20,000 uh, 20, planets in terms of cash prize, and the first place gets 6,000 planets. Alright, so sorry for uh, that cheeky introduction. Anyway, so for this month, once again, the rotation stays the same. It will stay the same for the next Smurf Cup as well until the map rotation changes for the month of June, which is going to be in two weeks' time on, on June the 1st. So, as for the order, here it is. Arena Creek will be the first map if I clear vision. Then we got Ibo's map, Strata, followed by Gato's for everyone. Multibla then by Butifara, which is the map that uh, players are currently warming up on. Then we're gonna have Popeye by Plasta. Goodbye from Zombak and Axe. And the final map, and the most technical in my opinion, Mevact from Smreax, a member of the Smurfs. Let's actually follow who's actually entered in the server. We got 21 players and counting. Uh, starting off with... So we got Cloud, the previous winner from... Smurfs Cup number 353. Then we got Butifara, the map uh, creator of the map that we're currently driving on, called Multibla. We also got Mini Bini, which was one of the surprise players in the Smurf Cup. We talked about it with Haxa and other people, and he was genu a genuine surprise. He actually is a regular player of the Smurfs Cup channel, and came into the regular Smurf Cup and was battling it out for the top spots with guys like Cloud, Mebe, and Surom. It, w it was really surprising to see, and uh, we hope he's going to be able to keep that level of performance in this edition as well. Then we got other guys such as Ibo, admin in, admin of uh, Mania Exchange and member of uh, Team Smurf 2x2 and SCLC EP. We actually got CC from Team Q, usually a stadium player, also a member of the DDE admin team uh, who is currently on the road to organize the 24-hour event on Trackmania Stadium. Then we got Reax, one of the mappers uh, who created the map uh, Mebex, which is going to be the final map for this session. Then we got Procoli, member of Team Smurf and One, who got into the top 10 last time round, and as we see him flipping beautifully during the warm-up. Who else do we got in here? We got Plasta, member of uh, one of the maps in here, Popeye. He's going to be playing with us this week. And then we got the DAR members, such as Multi here, which actually managed to finish in the top 20 regardless. And Fenrir, who was not actually playing this week, uh, last week rather. Also here we got Vinny, v Vinny, former Smurf member, now part of Team Velocity, also entered in CEP Season 5. Then we got Lex, the guy who actually managed to arrive second to last of the Smurfs. No need to, uh, I don't mean to be bashing there. I mean, in, in a good way, he won the battle against Acadia last time round. Then we got Zolita Zeyhond, a uh, member of Team Smurf in 3, which I'm also part of in CEP, and pretty solid player all around. Pleasure to be his teammate as well. And we also got Piotruno, a uh, well-known uh, skinner in the Trackmania community. He, and also a huge player of the MXKO. Then we got other people such as Maddox, but uh, he's probably going to be just specking this round. 
And yeah, so far, these are the players that we have. So we got 24 players on the server, three of which are, are spectators. So we got, and of course, let's not forget, we also got Haxa, uh, one of the founders of the Smurf team and of the Smurf clan, and one of the main organizers of SCLCEP and the Smurf Cup and pretty much everything run by the Smurf. If you're watching this video uh, and uh, are wondering where does this come from, this is the guy who handled all the Smurf Cups in Canyon, at least. All right, so the challenge is going to start in about four minutes' time. Sorry for the rather abrupt, abrupt interruption. So, yeah, this is going to be exciting. Uh, this is going to be actually pretty interesting to watch. Not many players, so maybe this could actually play in the hands of those who do not really tend to shine all that much to get a good result. Maybe could. No, I was actually talking with Lex, and he's probably looking to gain a few positions as a result of these uh, of these reduced effectives in terms of participation this week. Otherwise, yeah, there's not really much else that I can talk about as far as Canyon goes. Of course, if you're if you guys uh, are not uh, are not aware, there's also the Eurovision taking place uh, this week. Of course, pretty much everyone in the EU is aware, and there's going to be a lot of people watching. If you're not watching Eurovision and watching this instead, well, first of all, welcome and thank you for actually joining us uh, for what is set to be an actually pretty pretty good battle. I'm looking for Cloud and Mini Beanie to for to Cloud and Mini for Cloud and Mini Beanie to actually duke it out for first place. I think Mini Beanie really has what it takes to fight for the lead here. After the kind of performances we saw in pull off during the last week of Smurf Cup. So, three minutes left before the start of the cup. So yeah, here's a friendly reminder. Uh, if you're wondering uh, how can I... Uh, spec uh, SCLCEP since I tend to ca uh, catch that a lot well there are actually two of there are actually official casters for this event namely S uh, which can uh, you can follow over on twitch.tv slash S E S S Z and also Marius89 uh, so Marius89TM on Twitch who are officially broadcasting it but exceptionally for Playday 6 I will also be casting it will not be an official stream this will be something a little bit on the side if you know what I mean but this will be my first casting experience of anything in terms of competitions so I hope you're gonna you're gonna be there uh, if you want then stick around 26th of May is gonna be the day that happens we'll be covering both the Premier League and the Open League match started with the Open League match which happens on Kaleidoscope by Lars and then moving on to the Premier League match which is made which is played on alert by Mebe 12 Smurf Cup starts in two minutes. The warning there by Haxe. Let's actually follow a few other guys. Filling Piotruno here. Who actually just gave up on his training. Yeah, so people are now actually preparing themselves for the cup to start. Maybe the last few trips to the bathroom are needed. Also, a few other players joined in. A few other players joined in. Such as Arkin and uh, Meister CZ, and another more unknown player such as M3. Anyway, so one minute until the start of the Smurf Cup. Now, let me just check something. There we go. Oh, the cinematic camera ta takes over from that. No, actually, I can send it. Okay, cool. So now we got the got the camera sorted out. We're all, all set and ready for this. Thirty eight seconds until the cup starts.
Now, after this cup is over, I'm going to be stopping the stream for a moment, changing a few settings over, and then we'll be restarting the stream as uh, I'll be actually playing some uh, console here. I'm probably going to be playing some uh, Wipeout Omega Collection. Doing some, going to be doing some trial trial. If you want to follow me, then if you want to follow that, then uh, stick around after the cup. All right, so the cup is now now about to begin, and we're going to start, as I said, with Irina Creek. Uh, possibly the easiest map, what's considered to be the easiest map of the map pack for this month of May, made by Clear Vision from Finland. The record is head by Cloud with a 48.744. So if we can actually cam 7, no, we cannot cam 7 through there. Okay, so let's actually go a little bit. So as I said in the previous uh, cup, this part here at turn 2 is a little bit tricky. Since there's a tiny bump, there it is. You can actually see it better here. There is this bump that you can actually take a little bit too much and get sent on two wheels, flinging off into the wall on the other side. As we see Denzo getting an early start, he goes for the wider line. Other people tend to try to get the exit, and actually Lex and Piotruno getting uh, Lex getting a rollover. Piotruno actually managing to keep going. Again, we see so many different approaches for these you know, for this particular corner with the you know, with the approach actually taking in from this uh, from the line on the left. You see here proving to be the faster line. After that, it seems to be after that it is a pretty flowy track. A drift around this turn. Followed by the chicane turn, platform section. A rather smooth flat out road section, followed by a platform U turn. And this particular section here with the jump, which is a little, which in which you need to get the right speed and angle in order to clear. You can see the clearance is not that great, you can, as you can see from this shot. And after that, it's a straight run to the line. So. Warm-up is over, map one about to begin, and we're actually gonna follow actually gonna be following Mebet for the start of the round. Alright, sorry for the names over again, guys. Cloud trying to get a bit of an inner line, same for Mini Beanie. Everyone pretty grouped up and someone actually managed to fail. So far, Cloud, Mebet, and Mini Beanie, the top three, with Vinny close behind and end well, and Ender as well. Through checkpoint one, it's actually Piotruno who managed just to get the whole shot, although he's not to be seen. And actually, someone managed to rip it. It's actually Mini Mini, I think, who got it pretty wrong. So, so far, your top five Cloud, Mebet, Vinny, Ender, and React getting into the mix. Let's actually follow Vinny a little bit. He seems to have fallen down a slightly. He's in P4, or just behind the top three group. Making it smoothly over the jump, and it looks like Cloud is going to be set to take round one. And Vinny loses two positions, so it's going to be Cloud, Mebe, Ender, Procoli, Re Ender, Procoli, Reax, Vinny, Frico, and Piotruno for your top eight on round one of map one. Lex finishing the round in 20th, and other people finishing as well. Ibo finishing in the depths of 22nd or 23rd. And Meister CZ actually also finishing the round somewhere in 25th place. Rick seems to have had a few issues and will not be scoring any points as he presumably retired or just did not finish. There we go. So, let's actually follow Cloud for this round, shall we? So, Cloud leading with 50 points, 5 points in front of Mebet, and Ender third on 41. Again, people tend to roll over. Actually, a wall touch from Cloud, which loses him a lot of positions. The group actually went right past him, and he drops down to the depths of the 19th place with with Miss actually taking the first place. Let's see if we can actually find him. There we go. Miss, and actually, Miss makes a horrible mistake right as we spectate him, so spectator's curse. He's back down in 20th spot with Denzo actually overtaking him at the last second before the checkpoint. Let's actually go back to Cloud. Cloud evolving down in actually involving in third place. Now battling with Frico, who's actually got the lead for the first time, as I've seen. It's gonna be a battle with Frico, and it looks like Cloud has got a better line, and he's looking and he's set to take round two. So it's Cloud, Frico, Mebe, Protruno, Multi, Procoli, React, and Harsa for the top eight. Three Smurfs in the top eight. 
Other people finishing their rounds. Lex finishing the round in 24th. Everybody seems to have finished. And so Cloud, with a clean sweep of two rounds out of two, 100 points, points gets him in the lead, 14 ahead of his, me his teammate, Mebe. Now Cloud getting the start pretty much picture perfect. Battling with Midi Midi and Mebe for the top spot. Ibo uh, getting the whole shot due to the trying to do a different approach. Cloud battling with Mebe again for the lead. Oh, these two guys are really close to each other, but it seems like he like Cloud managed to pull a little bit of a gap. He's now two tenths one tenth the head of Mebe, sorry. Let's actually follow the other guys. Frico. It seems that this round must have been a fluke because he's currently lying in 22nd place, battling with Meister CZ and trying to find his way back up the pack. And as we, f we follow back the lead, Cloud still battling with Mebe, but it looks like rap round win number three for Cloud, finishing ahead of Mebe, Vinny, React, Lockering, Ender, Multi, and Piotruno. Lex about to finish the round in 23rd spot. Still getting some vital points. And so, one more round for Cloud to wrap the map up. He only needs to score 30 points to wrap the map to wrap up map one. Cloud, Cloud has faltered once, but he will not falter on this round. It's actually follow, and the whole shot is taken by Miss, uh, who took the alternate approach. Mebe in the lead with Cloud. Cloud getting a better line. Oh, and Cloud with a huge mistake. And Mebe is now going to over, going to take the lead gladly as Cloud falls down the order. So your top five so far: Mebe, Luckring, React, Frico, and CC in the mix as well. So we're actually going to spec Frico here as he looks set to score some vital points. And possibly overtake React if he's got the speed React. Oh, and there's actually an unfortunate touch from Frico. So, Mebe, Luckring, CC, React, Procoli, Hasa, Frico, and Ender, your top eight for round four of map one. And as it stands, Mebe is looking set to take the map win. It when Cloud had it all so perfect until that very moment of round four where he lost the lead. 181 points gives Mebe map number one. 181 points for Mebe in front of Cloud on 162 and React on 144 takes third spot. A battle for fourth spot is actually hotting up between Ender and Piotruno. Ender on 127 and Piotruno on 124. As we switch on to map two, which is Strata by Aibo, let's actually check the results. For the bigger picture. So Mebe in front with 181 points, second is Cloud on 162, React on 144 points is third, followed then by Mebe and Piotruno who are just three points apart, Ender on 127 points and Piotruno on 124. Followed then are Vinny on 123, Harse on 118, Procoli on 117, Frico on 116, and Lockring completes the top 10 on 110 points. Following them from 11th to 20th are Multi, CC, Botifara, Plaste, Eyeball, Arken, Zehond, Mini Beanie, Adego, Ejo, and Fenrir. As for the other Smurfs, Lex so far completes the spot in 24th. So, Strata by Eyeball, the second map for today, as maybe it gets a fail during the warm up. So, Eyeball, member, um, I mean of the MX of Romania exchange sites made this map. He's a pretty active mapper in the canyon actually, providing a lot of maps for Smurfs Cups and other canyon events. The record so far is one again again held by Cloud with a 1 minute 0.772. So so far it looks like Mini Beanie might not have been a, has not had a great first map. Let's actually cut over to him. He's currently lying a Playing towards the bottom of the top 20 in the standings, he's gonna be looking for redemption and trying to claw on the back some points on the subsequent maps in order to keep his results. 
Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> That's a bit shaky. Anyway, so we're just 10 seconds away from the start of map two. So it's going to be another battle between Cloud and Mebe for sure, but who's going to be able to be the third man to take the fight? We're going to find out at the start of this map. Starting with Mebe, mem winner of round one, of map one. Starting with his, his hype corner, then following on by uh, Drift U-turn. And already we're seeing a clear lead for Cloud and Procoli. Uh, uh, Cloud and Mebe, sorry. Cloud and Mebe battling it out less than th than and half a tenth between them. It's going to be Nippa Tuck again with, between these guys. Now is one of them taking the lead from the other. They're at one corner, and vice versa. And actually, a little bit of a gap already forming between the top two and third spot, which is Procoli right now. Procoli half a second behind, battling with React for P... What it used to be P3, is now P4. Ender getting in the mix, and also overtaking. And maybe having made a mistake, gets overtaken by Ender. And Ender looks set to have P2 in his hands, as he don't, doesn't... Wedge it, a uh, bit of a wide line from Ender here. Mebe taking uh, overtaking him, and it's gonna be Cloud in front of Mebe, Ender, React, Procoli, Ibo, Haxa, and Butifara for your top eight. Nice battle between Mebe and Ender towards the end of this round. Mebe having made a small mistake by clouding the wall, just three or four CPs from the end allowed Ender to actually have a fighting chance. And Denzo will be the unfortunate man who does not collect points, as he will not be able to finish the map. So, Cloud in front of Mebe and Ender for your top three. React and Procoli completing the top five so far. So again, this pipe turn onto a drift U-turn. Cloud uh, Mebe negotiating it perfectly and getting into the lead. Followed then by Ender, Procoli, Cloud and Piotruno. Mebe still in the lead with a two tenths gap between him and Cloud, who's reclaimed back second place. Ender also in the mix, actually, he's not too far off. He's gonna be battling for the lead here if one of these two guys makes a mistake. And behind the top three, we need to have another six tens until we find Luckring lurking in P4. And then there seems to leave a little bit of time to the top two. And at the end, it is going to be... Oh, Mebe full stopping at the end! It's going to be Cloud from Ender, Mini Mini, React, Mebe finishing in fifth after that full stopping. Multi, Luckring, and Butifar completing the top eight. Hafsa finishing in 18th. And the other guys finishing the round as well. But what a shocker for Mebe! Clouding the wall and coming to a full stop just before the finish. Let's actually follow Cloud for that round, shall we? So Ender moves up into P2 for this map after that horrendous mistake from Mebe. On eight to Ender on 86 points, Mebe on 81. After three checkpoints into this round, we got Mebe in front of Cloud, Procoli, Ender, and Piotrunio. Let's actually follow Ender for a little bit. Lurking in P4. Trying to gauge how everything pans out for the guys in front. Right in front of him is Procoli, as you can see. And the fierce battle once again between Cloud and Mebe. These two guys are definitely going to be... These, uh, Mebe is definitely going to be wanting his win after he was kind of missed out on it last week. Maybe with a tighter line, but Cloud getting a much better exit and now takes the lead. And a really wide turn for Mebe sees him losing a ton of time. And unless, unless a mistake is made, no it isn't. Cloud takes the win in front of Mebe, Procoli, Ender, React, Ibo, Mini Beanie, and Lockring. Other players finishing their rounds, such as Solido Zehon finishing down in 19th place. Lex as well, finishing somewhere in 22nd, I presume. Lasse also finishing his round 
It looks like everybody has finished, with Meister CZ coming in in 24th place with the ultimate finish. Yes, everybody has finished. So, 150 points Cloud. Now, I already said he might have this in the bag and he only needs 30 points, but as we've seen on map 1, you know, on the map 1 rather, anything can happen and usually does, and a huge mistake during the last round of map 1 denied the map for Cloud. Let's see if he can redeem himself here. So Cloud so far in front of Frokoli, Ender, Butifara, and Mebe. Butifara actually in P4. Oh, and now, now I'm actually falling back down the order. Pyotruno moving up into the top five. Mebe battling with Ender. Ender putting up a good fight for the top three and four. Brokoli also not doing anything too bad either. It's actually switched with Cloud. Now battling with Mebe and Brokoli, taking a wider line on the entry with a much better exit. And Brokoli actually hits the checkpoint. He's going to be falling down the order. Cloud, Mebe, Ender, Brokoli, and Reactor top five at checkpoint eight. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, maybe trying to get carry too much speed with a shallow entry. That's not going to pan out. And it looks like Cloud will take the map, finally. Cloud in front of Mebe, Ender, React, Brokoli, Ibo, Hoxha, and Multi. Completing your top eight. GG from Cloud. Everybody else finishing their round. Nastin, unfortunately, will not be able to make it. Denzo can make it if he's quick yeah he's actually got a few seconds to spare and there he goes finishing in 23rd he must have had a, a huge mistake as he was 27 seconds down the later so a clean sweep for cloud with 200 points to his name meaning that he now retakes the lead of the cup for 10 points from mebe so cloud Elt first, Mebe second, React and Ender, React and Ender battling over third, third, and Procoli completing the top five. So switching on to map three, which is for everyone, but first, first let's check a look at the overall standings. So Cloud first on 362 points, 10 points clear of Mebe in second. React is in third, but battle is going to be battling with Ender here. Just you know, these two guys are just two points apart, battling for P3. Procoli is in 5th place with 258 points, following then our luck ring on 224. Hasa just 1 point behind. Vini follows in 8th place on 201. Kyotruno, no 9th on 199. And Aibo, who completes the top 10 on 198. It seems it's going to be a pretty tight battle for the top for all the top 10 positions. Then following from 11th down to 20th are Multi, Frico, Butifara, CC, Mini Vini, Plasta, Zehond, Arkin, Plura Hamsta, and Ajo. As for the other Smurfs, Lex is down in 23rd place with 76 points. He'll eventually get there. So, then we got for everyone, the former cup map by Gato. You know, one of the more flowing maps of this particular map pack, in my sense. Record by Cloud once again with a 41.950. finishing their round. There we go. So, warm up is done. Round three, no, map three about to start. It's actually, and we're actually going to be following someone else. Let's actually follow Procoli for this round. So, starting off with a downhill, moving on to a U turn that's not taken without with any drifts. Moving on to this dirt section, and Procoli just seems to take it rather well. He's battling with Vinny and Cloud for the first for the first place here. Cloud getting a little bit of a lead, but it's Procoli, Cloud, Vinny, React, and Mini Beanie for your top five at checkpoint three. Cloud getting in front. He manages to get the turn, unlike last week. Cloud still remains in front with a little bit of a buffer. It's going to be a battle between Procoli and Mini Beanie for P2. And now it's going to be a straight booster run to the line, and Cloud will take round one of map three. So it's Cloud in front of Procoli, Mini Beanie, React, Vinny, Mebe, Hase, and Ibo. Everybody else finishing the round. And Ender actually full stop picking in the paddle in front of the finish. 
Those are quite some scenes. He was forced to respawn and thus falls down the order. He f even falls behind Lex. And finishes down in 23rd place. Not what the man needed after a strong performance in round in map 2 of this cup. Let's actually follow him to the start of that round. Let's see what Ender can pull off after a rather paltry round one. Let's say it. Alright, everyone looking nice and tidy. Ender losing a little bit of time. Someone going very wide. Ender down in P7 behind Mini Beanie. React and Cloud. Mebe in the lead. Cloud battling with... Cloud battling with Mebe once again for the lead. Mebe in the lead in front of Cloud. Cloud getting a much tighter... Line through there, but it doesn't help him that much. Mebe still in front of Cloud. Procoli following behind. Two tenths down. Uh, then Vinny and Lockring follow. Then it's gonna, uh, now it's going to be just a straight run to the line once again. And Mebe will take this round. So it's Mebe in front of Cloud. Procoli, Vinny, Lockring, Mini Beanie, React, and Harse. Lex is going to finish this round with a flip in 23rd place. Enter down in 20th. It seems to be, he seems to be struggling quite a bit this round. Cloud still in front with 95 points, but just 9 points clear of Procoli, who's a close second and actually battling with Mebe for this very same place. Mebe third on 84 points. Completing the top 5 are Mini Beanie and Vinny battling over 4th place. Mini Beanie on 75 and Vinny on 74. Cloud actually getting a wall touch, so he's going to be falling down the order down in 13th, and here we go. People are passing him left, right, and center. Let's actually follow someone else. Let's follow Procoli battling for the lead with React and Mebe. React getting the whole shot of the checkpoint, but a much worse line. So it's going to be Mebe taking the lead over the jump transition. Mebe in front of Lockring, Procoli, Mini Beanie, and React for the top five so far. Mebe not making not making any mistakes. He doesn't put a foot wrong. Procoli potentially overtaking Lockring for second. It's going to be over the line. And he does it by one thousandth of a second. So it's Mebe, Procoli, Lockring, Mini Beanie, React, Cloud, Protruno, and Frico for your top eight. Ibo having to respawn. A little bit unfortunate for him. Fortunately, he's going to have just a straight run to the line. The bad news is that he ends up in 21st place, not the place he wanted. Vinny also having made a mistake. Does not collect that much, as much points as he would have wanted, finishing in 20th place. And we have a lead change now. Mebe in front of Procoli. Mebe on 134, Procoli on 131. Is there? St it's still game on for first place. Cloud in third in a with 129 points. Mini Bini following then on in fourth on 113, and with 106 points, React completes the top five. Procoli getting the best start out of anyone. And after checkpoint two, he takes the lead. Now he's battling with Mebe and Cloud, though. These guys are are going to be pouncing. They're chomping up the bit, as we say it. Battling with Procoli now is Cloud, taking who wants to take the lead. Cloud getting a much better line, taking the lead for one tenth. That Procoli going into the last checkpoint. Procoli not making any mistakes so far, but he's not going to be of the caliber to catch Cloud unless Cloud makes a mistake. A run to the line, and Cloud takes the round. So it's Cloud, Procoli, Lockring, Ender, Mebe, React, Ibo, and Piotrino for your top eight. Other people finishing the round. Haxa down in 23rd place. And everybody seems to have finished. And as we see... Oh! 179! So he doesn't wrap up the map just yet. Just three points clear of Procoli, we've got one more round. Let's actually follow Cloud for this round. He's got it all to do, he's got everything to lose. Procoli's got everything to win to take his first map win. So far it's, far it's Mebe, Vinny, Cloud, Lockring, and Procoli after checkpoint two, after checkpoint three, the same things are quite different as Mebe seem to have made a mistake. Cloud clearly in the lead in front of Vinny, Lockring, Procoli, and Ender. Let's actually he switch to Procoli now. Procoli now over in you know, back in second place. Oh, and he makes a tiny mistake, but he's gonna it's gonna cost him a bunch of places. There we go. As we switch over to Cloud, who comes over the line to take the map. Map number three for him. Cloud, Vinny, Ender, CC, Piotrino, Lockring, Zayholmes, and Procoli for your top eight. Maybe having made a bunch of mistakes will not be able to 
close the gap that separates Cloud from him. And Hasek missing the finish, unfortunately. And he will not be able to make it in time, I fear. And there goes the timer. Zero seconds. So, in the end, Math 3 goes to Cloud on 229 points. Broccoli finishes second on 206. And Mebe with 188 finishes third. In the overall standings on 591 points, Cloud is the leader in front of Mebe on 540. Procoli is third on 464, React and Lockring fall, then complete the top 5 on 434 points and 400 points dead, respectively. Map 4 is going to be multi block by Butifara, but first, uh, check at the overall standing. So, as I said, 591 points gives Cloud the lead, followed then by Mebe on 540 points, Procoli then in third on 464, React fourth on 434, and fifth is Lockring on 400 points dead. Following then in sixth are en in is Ender on 390, Vinny on 344, Tiochuno on 341, Ibo on 326, and Haxa completes the top 10 on 317. From 11th to 20th down, if in that order is Frico, CC, Butifara, Multi, Minibini, Plasta, Zehon, Arkin, Florida Hamsta, and Fenrir. As for Lex, he has moved up to 22nd and overtakes Ijo. Joe, uh, Lex is now on 141 points and actually battling for 21st with Meister CZ, who is on 146. So, multi blah by Butifara. Record held by Cloud with a 36.792. Possibly the shortest map of this particular map pack for the month of May. Everybody finishing their round. We're basically just 5 seconds towards the end of this warm-up round and map 4 is now about to start. And we are now going to be following React for this round. As the field scatters into turn 1, we can clearly see that a gap is trying to form between the leaders. So far, Lockring gets the whole shot. Procoli emerging in the lead in front of Ender, it seems, and maybe actually lunging up down the inside, potentially to take the lead. Let's actually try to get him in, in spectators. Well, no, that's maybe not. Uh, React making a huge mistake, meanwhile, drops down to 15th place and further. Maybe in the lead in front of Cloud and Ender. These three guys are such tightly packed. Wide exit here for Ender. He's not going to be able to make it. Cloud overtakes Mebe at the last minute and takes the round. So it's Cloud, Mebe, Procoli, Ender actually being overtaken by Procoli last minute. Then follow Ibo, Vinny, Butifara, and Solidus Ahonz. Other people finishing the round such as Piotruno who had made a huge mistake. He seemed to have been full stop picking pretty hard after being really far up the order. Well, what is happening? Okay, so we got Cloud in front, Mebe in second, and Procoli third. All right, I thought my connection dropped out. Sorry, guys. So let's follow Mebe once again for this round. Here we go. Turn two is passed. Now onto this dirt section. Cloud in front of React, Lockring, Ender, and Mebe. Mebe getting a much tighter line here. Battling with Lockring for P2, and he actually... The, the, and he makes a mistake, makes a wall touch, and drops down to P7. Someone forced stop picking, actually. I had no idea who that was. Couldn't tell you the name. Cloud now with, a, now with a little bit of a lead. Back to Ender. Ender is actually just 600 behind, so it could swing at any minute. But Cloud is not going to put a foot wrong and take round number two. So, Cloud, Broccoli, Lockring, Ender, CC, Butifara, Mebe, and Vinny. Your top eight. Lex finishing the round in 20th place. Taika Muna seems to be having quite a lot of issues with internet connections. So that's what made me think that uh, my internet completely crapped out. Alright, so let's actually follow someone else. Let's actually follow Ender. Ender sticking to the inside. Getting a good dirt turn, a good snap here, out of here, and he's going to take the lead just like that. But not for long, as Cloud and Mebe are waiting to bounce, and Mebe again with that drift. 
overtakes Ender, and Ender makes a pretty good, mis pretty big mistake. People actually touching the walls. Mebe once again, as it seems. Ender also touching the wall. Meanwhile, Cloud gets a clear run out front. Three tenths clear of Booty Farah in second. And he's gonna take round number three. So it's Cloud in front of Booty Farah, CC, Procoli, Piotruno, React, Lockring, and Pluta Hamsta actually getting into the top eight for the first time. An awesome surprise to see. Lex also getting P19. Now, Booty Farah is playing on home ground. This is his track, remember? So. Maybe a good result was expected from him? I don't know. <laughs> that may be just me speaking, but Takimuna, yeah, seems to have quite a lot of issues. So, plane sweep so far for Cloud. 150 points for him, puts him in the lead. 26 points clear of Procoli on 120, 124, and Butifara on a, with 111 po points is in third place. Lockring and Ender are battling over P4. Just one point separates the two. As we follow Cloud for this round, he gets the whole shot. He gets into the lead, battling with Procoli now. A much better line from him and Mebe once again. Cloud pulls up a little bit the gap. Mebe overtaking Procoli. Uh, let's actually try to switch over to other guys. Butifara now falling back down the order after that stellar performance on round three. He's down in P12. Let's switch over to Procoli now, battling with Mebe for, P for P2. And he gets a much better exit here. Cloud in front of Procoli, Mebe, Priotrono, CC, Ibo, React, and Ender. Just like that for your top eight. And with this, map, uh, top map number four is Clouds once again. Three maps, one by Cloud, just one one by Mebe so far. Mebe actually downplaying his hopes, saying that he can't win, as we see Ta Taika Muna having a lot of issues and ending, and ending up leaving the server. So... Here we go, 200 points, another clean sweep from Cloud, means that he continues to pull the gap to P2. So, Cloud in front of Procoli, Mebe, and Butifara, and they're completing the top 5. Cloud in first, the 791 points, followed then by Mebe on 680, Procoli on 633, Lockring on 529, and Ender on 520. So, map 5 is going to be Popea by Plasta. Once again, we're going to check the overall standings. So. Cloud in the lead with 791 points. In front of Mebe, who is on 680, then follow Procoli on 633 in third place. Then comes Lockring in fourth on 529, battling with Ender for fourth place, who is uh, on 520 points. Then from sixth to tenth is React on 514, Ibo on, five, on 440, Vinny on 437, Piotrunu on 435, and Completing the top 10 is, key, is CC on 4.30. From 11th to 20th in that order, Butifara, Multi, Hachse, Frico, Zehon, Plasse, Minibini, Plota Hamsta, Arkin, and Meister CZ. Lex is in 21st place so far with 188 points and is still looking maybe to... Uh, and is probably eyeing a top 20 spot, which would be good for him. So, Popea, now we st no, with map 5 we're starting to get into the technical stuff. Map from Plasta with the record held by Cloud once again with a 52.086. So we had a lot of issues, especially from Taika Muna here, who's had a lot of issues. Who's had a lot of. It seems to be internet issues on his side. Now he's joined back and he seems to be back into shape. Also, in terms of other players, we've got Vinny, who, didn't, who does seem to be looking in pretty good shape so far. He is. Um, Towards the end, he was towards the end of the top 10. He's in P8, is, uh, if I recall correctly. I know that I said the rankings 30 seconds ago, but there you go. Uh, clownfish memory, as we say. Procoli is standing still. We don't know what happens. Ender is probably looking, uh, probably going to be pissed at himself right now. He's had so much good performances, especially during during map two. And he's pretty much throwing it all away. He's throwing away valuable points. Points. He leaves it on the table to be grabbed by others. Anyway, map five. Here we go. We follow Ender for this start. Pretty wide exit for this corner. Mebe getting the whole shot at checkpoint one. Mebe pulling out in the lead and battling with... Again, teammate Cloud and Ender moving up 
into P3, getting into the mix, Meme making a mistake and dropping down a lot of places, Cloud in front of Procoli and Ender battling need for P2, Lockring and React are close behind, actually battling for P4, Lockring dropping down now, so it's Cloud, Ender, Procoli, React and Lockring for your top 5. Cloud still making a lot of ground. Let's actually follow Lockring here. Lockring is in a broiled and a scrap to get the last few positions in the top 10. Now back to Ender. Trying to get close to Broccoli, but it's not going to happen with React. Saying a little bit of a hello there. And it's going to be Cloud in front of Broccoli, Ender, React, Butifara, Lockring, Mebe, and Multi for your top 8. Lex finishing the round in 21st. As well as other guys, such as Taikamuna, finally getting around. And it seemed like we had some issues in, um, as far as Nastin33 is concerned. It seems he seems to have start late and will not be able to complete the round as a result. So, as we search over to the lead, Cloud in front of Procoli, Ender, React, and Botifara. Let's actually follow React for this round. As we hear a pretty funny horn. People have already recognized that song. I don't really know it. I know I'm... Um, out of my way on my fangle means. Anyway, the whole shot. Mebe gets first. Butifar third. Zayholm fourth. Mebe and Cloud battling it once again. For P3, it's actually running up quite a bit with Procoli, Lockring, React, and Vinny actually getting into the mix. Let's actually follow some of the other guys. Let's actually follow Damulti, who has had a pretty good round finishing in the top eight, but he doesn't seem to have be having any of that right now. He is down in P19. Let's actually switch over to Ender, who is in P7 at the moment. Trying to pick up some more places. Vinny making a rather wide line. He's going to be uh, Ender moving up to P6. And so far in the round, it's going to be Meve in front of Cloud, Procoli, React, Lockring, Ender, Vinny, and Butifara. As we see Lex finishing the round in 22nd. And some of the bigger players, actually, Piotruno filling down in 21st, so he must have had a pretty catastrophic failure during that round. Cloud stand in the lead with 95 points, 11, 9 points clear of Procoli in second, and Mebe follows in third with 82 points. Let's actually follow Cloud for this round. Cloud getting the whole shot in front of Mebe, Mebe getting back into the lead. An internal battle between these guys. Vinny trying to get the lead with a really interesting line through there, but it was a really shallow entry, so that was not going to pan out. Mebe taking the lead from Cloud. It's really been put up from these guys, taking trading leads corner after corner. Mebe actually making a mistake and dropping down places, so it's Ender taking up P2. React P... No, Procoli and React battling over P3. Mebe is down in P5 at the moment. Battling with Vinny to retain the top 5 spot. Following Procoli now, battling with Lockring... For P2, and it looks like Lockring is going to get P2. So it's Cloud, Lockring, Procoli, Mebe, React, Vinny, Ender, and Piotruno for your top 8. Lex finishing down in 20 seconds. One hundred and forty-five points for Cloud. Now he needs to do... Now he needs to score at least 35 points. So yeah, he cannot really get out of the top 5, otherwise he will not be able to wrap the map up. Following Procoli for this round now? As we see Mebe getting the whole shot. And the two Hype Boys guys getting ahead of the pack. React trying to mix it up a little bit, moving into the battle for the lead. Mebe making a mistake, dropping down a lot of places. So it's Cloud in front of Procoli who manages to overtake React. Lockring and Vinny follow close behind. Let's actually follow Vinny a little bit for a moment here. Vinny battling with Lockring for P4. And moving into a battle for P3, potentially with React. And he inches closer. Vinny might be able to overtake. Ah, he doesn't have quite the speed. React actually making a mistake, so that gives him P3 by default. Procoli also making a mistake, so Vinny is up into P2. But he's not going to have anything on this man unless a mistake isn't happening. Cloud takes the round, followed then by Vinny. Procoli, Lockring, React, CC, Butifara, and Piotrunio. Lex finishing the round as well. Nastin also managing to finish the round after a pretty late start in round one. And with this, 
Not quite a clean sweep, but still. 195 points secures map number 5 for Cloud. Four maps in a row. This man is on a roll. Cloud in front with uh, 986 points, close to the 1000 points barrier. Then we got Mebe second, Hint with 811, Procoli third with 801, Luckring fourth with 682, and Reacts fifth on 662. Moving on to map number 6, which is going to be Goodbye by Zombak and Axe. So a look at the overall standings, 986 points puts Cloud into the lead. Eat following then are Mebe on 811 points in second, Procoli in third with 801 points, Lockring with 682 points is in fourth, React completes the top five with 662. From 6th to 10th are Ender with 643, Vinny with 566, Ibo with 548, battling with Booty Farah uh, on 546, and completing the top 10 is CC with 525. From 11th to 20th in that order is Piotruno, Harse, Multi, Frico, Plasta, Zehond, Pluto Hamster, Arken, Mini Bini, and Meister CZ. Meister CZ on 248 and Lex on 225. So the battle, the battle is still on for P20 for Lex. Go, go, Lex. I believe in you. So anyway, <laughs> we go on to map number 6. We're getting onto the longer and more technical stuff from this particular map pack. A map by Zombak and Axe. With a lot of tight sections such as this one. With a map with a lap record from Cloud with a 50.178. So let's hope that nobody gets issues. I am specifically uh, think about Nastin, who's had a late start in round one of map five. And yeah, Mebe must be kicking in, uh, must be uh, kicking himself pretty hard after the bunch of mistakes that he made during the last two maps and the not, and the amount of points that he's left on the table. Anyways, here we go with map number six, following Mebe for this start, particular round. Maybe and Cloud getting a pretty good start. Luck Ring as well, Ender as well. So there's going to be already a, a four-way battle for the lead after checkpoint one. React is a little bit further behind though. Cloud in front of Mebe, Ender, Luck Ring, and React. Ender moving past Mebe. Mebe having a slight wall touch it seems, but no speed lost. Getting a much better corner here than Ender. Ender still lurking a little bit in the shadows, looking to uh, looking set to take advantage of mistakes. Mebe still retains second. Cloud having made a mistake is now giving up the lead to Mebe. And as we're going to see in the gaps, maybe it's going to fall down for him. Cloud battling with Broccoli for P3, and it looks like Mebe is going to take the round. So Mebe in front of Ender, Cloud, Broccoli, React, Lockring, Multi, and Frico. Hoxha finishing the round in P17. Lex finishing down in 22nd, actually giving up a few points to Meister Season in, uh, in the process as he as Meister Season finished in P20. Alright, so following Mebe for this particular round. No, actually following Ender for this round. Ender getting a pretty good start and actually taking the lead, provisional lead, probably making a pretty big mistake meanwhile. Then gets over to then Ender gets overtaken by Cloud and reacts. He's gonna be embroiled in the scrap for the lead here. Mebe joining in the fun. And there we go. Cloud, React, Mebe, and Ender. Lock ring completing the top five, albeit three tenths back. Ender with a really wide line there. Lock ring lurking a little peeking a little bit, but it's not gonna happen. And Ender making a pretty big mistake and a full stop, which is gonna cost him dearly. Mebe battling with React for P2. Cloud not making the mistake right here, so he looks set to take the round, question mark. Mebe looks to be securing P2 here, half a second behind Cloud at the last checkpoint. And at the finish line, it's going to be Cloud in front of Mebe, React, Lockring, Procoli, Frico, Multi, and Ibo. With an astonishing 8 tenths of a second gap between first and second. Cloud moving, so Cloud moving up into P2 with 91 points, just four points behind Mebe, who still managed to get points for second place. 
as we're going to see. Mepe up on 95, Cloud on 91, React on 77, Procoli on 74, and Lockring on 72 points complete the top 5. Mepe not having the best start, it's going to be Ender who gets the whole shot for 1200 12 thousandths of a second. And again, a four-way battle emerges after checkpoint 1. Cloud, Ender, Lockring, and Mebe battling it for the lead. Cloud in front of Ender and Mebe. Lockring giving up a little bit of time. Mebe overtaking Ender for P2. Ender remaining pretty close. Cloud so far having a little bit of a buffer. He's going to be trying to manage. He gets that corner almost perfect, but Mebe with a better line. Uh, it didn't quite work out. And at the end, unless mistake, no, there are none. Cloud in front of Mebe, Ender, React, Broccoli, Lockring, Vinny, and Frico for your top eight. And that is going to give the lead of the map to Cloud for a single point. And we actually got a... Uh, I actually missed this. We actually got a new record from Cloud with this round. A 50.047 is a brand new record for this very map. Here we go. One point advantage between Mebe... Uh, but, uh, one point advantage for Cloud in front of Mebe. It's going to be all about this round to decide the map winner. Mebe in front so far of Ender and Lockrank. Cloud getting into the mix. Vinny trying to get some over ambitious with speed mo with momentum carrying, but it's not going to pan out this way. Mebe taking, taking the lead, and we're gonna actually going to check the gaps. Three tenths in front of Lockrank, and it looks like Cloud might have made a mistake. Yeah, he's languishing down in the pack. He's down in P8. He looks set to actually not continue his streak. Map six. It. Nix is set to be Mebez if everything goes according to plan for the player. And it looks like it is. The final corners to go. And Mebe takes map number six. Mebe in front of Procoli, Ender, Reacts, Lockring, Cloud, Vinny, and Ibo. Butifara finishing down in P13. Lex finishing actually in P18, so he may be looking some to gain some ground over Meister CZ. We're actually going to see that in the overall rankings after we switch maps. Final people to finish the rounds. And as we can see, 190 points gives Mebe the map win. 190 for, for Mebe in first, 175 for Cloud in second, and Procoli in third is 155. Cloud still in the lead with 1161 points. Once 1,001 points for Mebe puts him in second. Procoli is third with 956. Lockring is fourth with 824. And with 815, it is. Is. I didn't have the time to look. Yeah, in 815, it is React. And we are already on the final map of the Smurfs Cup. Map Acts from React. But before we move on to this map, let's take the results. So, 1,161 points still may, means that Cloud is in first place. Following then, 160 points behind is Cloud on 1,001 points. Third is Procoli with 956. Lockring is fourth with 824. And React completes the top five with 815. Sixth is Ender with 785. Seventh, Vinny with, seven, six, with 671. Ibo is eighth with 641. Butifara is fourth with 630. And Piotruno completes the top 10 with 621. From 11th to 20th in that order is CC, Multi, Frico, Haxe, Plasta, Zehond, Blöde Hamster, Arkin, Meister CZ and Mini Bini. As far as the other guy is concerned, Lex is still P21. Just 11 points behind top 20, which is currently held by Mini Bini. That must. Uh, that performance must feel like a long time ago for the Finnish player. Having had such a good run, battling it with the front guys. And ultimately, this, uh, this week, it is not meant to be. And it looks like. Uh, as though he might have left it, because I don't see him in the player list as everyone finishes their warm up. Yep, there's no side of him actually, so P20 could actually be a. Uh, he's actually a realistic prospect 
for Lex. Anyways, the seventh and final map is underway. Following Vinny for this round. Everybody getting an early start. Someone already falling off the cliff. Tricky section. People already failing left, front, and center. Except for the two guys. Oh, and actually someone completely failed. I, I think it was Luckring who actually had a pretty nasty flip there. As we're going to go over in checkpoint one. Vinny is down in P11 behind Butifara and Ibo. But we're going to actually head back over to Mebe for the lead. Mebe got the whole shot. Was close to touch the wall there, but... Not better of it. Two tenths up. Uh, he's actually two tenths clear of Cloud, who's in second. Then a s further seven tenths down, we find React, then Procoli, and Ender. And as we get it over to the round end, it is Mebe in front of Cloud, followed then by Procoli, React, Ender, Ibo, Vinny, and Butifara. A pretty wide discrepancy in the top eight. But from first to last, there's actually over four seconds of difference. Lockring finishing the round way down the order. He must be disappointed with that earlier flip that he got at the beginning of the map. So, now changing, let's actually follow Ibo for this round. He has had a pretty good run finishing in P6. Ibo getting a pretty good start. Losing a little bit of time to the guys in front. Oh, a pretty wide line for him. He's going to lose a few positions from that. Multi. Oh, Multi actually making a huge mistake. Ibo is pointed in P8 behind Zayholm, Frico, and Vinny, who's actually in the top five. Let's actually follow Vinny now. Vinny is in fifth place. And he's behind and now in front of him are Procoli and Ender battling for P3. Then are then there are Mebit and Cloud who are battling for the lead, which is what we're watching now. Cloud in front of Mebit. We do a much tidier line through there. The final corner is coming up. Cloud with a much better line. He's going to take the win here. So it is Cloud in front of Mebe, Procoli, Ender, Vinny, React, Ibo, and Frico completes the top eight. Arsa finishing in P10. Lockering finishing the round again. He must have had another mistake. He's down in P28. Mishiboss also finishing the round, and it looks like someone might not have made it. It was Mr. Fitness who eventually left. And we have a tie so far in the map. 95 points equal for Mebit and Cloud, who share first place. Broccoli is in third with 82 points. Following Mebit for this round, getting it pretty much picture perfect on this corner. Cloud giving a run for his money, though. Who's going to get the whole shot? It is going to be Cloud for 39 thousandths of a second. And Cloud actually making a big mistake if I'm not... Yeah, he's actually languishing down. He's dropped quite a few places. He's actually finding himself behind Vinny and drops another place potentially to Butifara. No, it's not going to happen, but he's down in P7 now. Let's actually switch over to Procoli, who's in second as a result of that mistake by Cloud. Still a long way back from Mebe. He's not going to be able to do anything to get the win here on the round. Unless a mistake happens for Mebe, which it doesn't. Mebe, Mebe finishes first in front of Procoli, React, Vinny, Cloud, Butifara, Lockring, and Ibo. Arsa finishing the round in P17. He must have had a pretty big mistake for that to happen. Mr. Si Meister CZ following suit. Lex also finishing the round. And Arkin finishing down in P20. M Cyber staying in the. Start ramp and actually leaving. He must have been an AFK. And lead change. Mebe takes the lead with 145 points in front of Cloud, who's on 131. And actually going to have to fend off maybe Procoli, who's coming back in the fight for P2 with 127. This could potentially be the final round of the Smurfs Cup. Remember, 180 points are needed to wrap up the map. So only 35 points to score for Mebe. But it looks like it's not said to be that much of a good start as we don't see Mebe in the top five. Where is he actually? He's way down the order. He's not going to... He Currently, he's not in a position to get enough points. And he makes another mistake as we speak. So, it is not going to be the wrap-up for him. It is probably going to be this man who's going to take 
is fifth map during the Smurfs Cup. Only two maps dropped out of the seven that were played. And the two maps he dropped were in favor of Mebit. But actually, as we speak, he makes another mistake, but he finishes safely. So it's going to be Cloud taking the round from Procoli, Ender, Vinny, Lockring, Frico, Butifara, and Multi. Yeah, Mebet must be pretty disappointed in that performance. Likes finishing at P18. He's going to have actually a, a spot in the top 20. And Mebet stopping in front of the finish as a sign of his discontent. He will not take the points for that. Or actually, he does finish. So there we go. 181 points gives the map to Cloud. And with this, the win. Smurfs Cup number 354 won by Cloud once again. 1,342 points. The final map, uh, the final points count for the winner. Be waiting for the map switch to happen. And then we're going to actually take a look at the final standings. So, Cloud is your winner for Smurfs Cup number 354 with... 1,342 points. Mebe finishes a second with 1,157 points. And P3 goes to Procoli with 1,128. Only the top three have made it past the 1,000 points barrier once again. Cloud is fourth with 956 points. And Ender completes the top five with 918 points. Sixth is Lockring with 914. Seventh is Vinny with 815. Ipo is eighth with 757. Butifara 9th with 754, and CC is, complete, is completing the top 10 with 706. 11th is Pio Tuner with 688, Frico 12th with 686, 684, and then with 684 in 13th place is Multi, Haxa finishes 14th with 628, 15th is Plasta with 560, Zayhorn is 16th with 550, Plata Hamster gets P17 on his first outing with 465, Arkin finishes in 18th with 410, Meister CZ finishes 19th with 345 and Lex gets into the top 20 with 324. Then we got onto people who did not make it all the way to map 7. So we got Mini Beanie, then we got Fenrir, Taikamuna, Captain Fracas, Aijo, Nastin33, Miss, Denzo, PickFix2K2, Dr. Bob101, who joined a little bit late, Michi Boss, and M3. So that is a wrap up for this particular Smurf Cup. Again, thank you very much for watching. For those of you who joined in, the VOD is going to be uploaded the day after that. This time, I promise. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Godspeed, people.